when you study animals, there's some of which you're told whose blood will always stay quite warm, but some whose blood is cold. They can survive within a range of temperature, except a change that's too extreme can be so dangerous for animals, for cold-blooded vertebrates, cold-blooded animals. They must respond by what they do, and so they move around to find the proper temperature in water or on ground. Fish, reptiles, amphibians, whose temperature of blood has been controlled from outside, not within these kinds of animals. These cold-blooded vertebrates, cold-blooded animals. The fish have gills instead of lungs to get their oxygen And most have air bladders and fins to help them float and swim Some are jawless like lampreys with cartilage like sharks and rays But most have bony vertebrae, they're bony animals They're cold-blooded vertebrates, cold-blooded animals Amphibians lead double lives, that's how they get their name They start in water, then go on land, which they like just the same Toads have dry and bumpy skin, frogs is wet and smooth as in the salamanders And newts their kin, they're all amphibians They're cold-blooded vertebrates, cold-blooded animals Snakes and lizards are reptiles along with tortoises Whose legs are made for walking, not for swimming like turtles. Crocodiles have teeth that show, and alligators will always go inside its mouth. That's how to know these different animals. These cold-blooded vertebrates, cold-blooded animals. These animals are different in the way they reproduce. The fish must fertilize their eggs externally and loose. Amphibians, jelly eggs are wet. Reptiles are leathery and set to hatch on land where they will get to become animals. These cold-blooded animals, cold-blooded animals.